Hey friends, today I have, I'm have i working on my 99 Pontiac Grand Am and this is a real idle air control valve. Last time I just cleaned this and I still don't know what it is. It had some carbon buildup. Anyways, your idle air control valve is right here on the 99 Pontiac Grand Am. 9, 99 through 2005, I believe, so the air comes through here. And my uh, thing was right idling kind of rough. Uh, start up and then stop. Um, once or twice before it started. Once it started running, it was running good. Um, I tra I changed out the um, this little goodie right here. Man, what is it? I just I just did a video on that. Anyways, the gas pressure fuel thing it seemed to work better. <laughs> That's not the technical term, obviously. So uh, I was reading on some vlogs too, and uh, I'm gonna replace this little goodie as well. Idle air control valve because it seemed to help uh, a lot of people. It seemed to that was the issue with their thing idling kind of rough so um, it seems to be held on by just two screws here one right here and one right here and this is a Torx a T20 Torx uh, um, key so I'm going to disconnect the wire from this one first okay and that's it right there right there and we're going to unscrew this if we can I might yeah, this is a lot easier to access than the other one. So righty tighty, lefty loosey, and we're gonna pull this bad boy out of here. Hopefully, without too much interference. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is gonna be an easy one. Oh, that's, that is nice when it's not like. Uh, have to remove half your motor to get at the screws, you know. So, I hope this thing is magnetized. I think it is. So, yeah. So, hopefully, the screw is not going to fall into the motor once I get it out of there. Because that would be bad. Okay, it's off of there. Got my hand. Okay, it is magnetized, but okay, that was better than I dared hoped. Actually, I'm gonna get at this one here now. It's just two little screws on either side, and that's loose too. That is nice. All right, so I'm super stoked. That's so much easier than the fuel low fuel air idle or whatever it was gas pressure you know what i'm gonna look at the box sorry about that so fuel pressure regulator that's that bad boy right there okay so come on almost got this thing out of here this should be Rather quick, actually. The only thing that's gonna stop me now is if this thing falls into the motor. Be careful. Got it. Okay. All right. Just gonna pull that off of there. Seems to be all you gotta do. Okay. So there's the old one. It's 20 years old. If it's not time for a new one, if this isn't the problem, but then, uh, where did I put it? Are you, okay. I was like, where do you go? Okay, so here's the new one right there, nice and shiny. I think this might have an O-ring in there. Yeah, it does, so. Okay, we already have one. So this goes in, the plug-in's that way, obviously. So we're just gonna set it right in there. We'll put a little bit of petroleum jelly around this real quick. Put 
all right hopefully I just keep it from going bad seal so basically we're just gonna put this right back in there just like that <laughs> I can't believe how easy this is going so far I thought for sure I'm gonna drop a screw or something but we're not out of the woods yet just going in better than I dared hoped. All right, so I'm not gonna screw that in all the way yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get my other screw. Come on, baby, do not fall. Okay. Why is that in the way there? Okay. Not want to drop this thing. That's the only thing that's gonna finish me here is if I drop this. Come on, come on, baby. All right. I didn't want to get one screw all the way tightened in. Get it most of the way, and then we're gonna do this one, and then we're gonna switch. Okay. This wasn't too tight on there, anyways, but. Get that one. Okay. Get this one on there. Okay, and then we're just gonna tighten it a little bit with this, with the longer end here. Get a little bit more torque on it. Just so it doesn't come undone. Like I said, this wasn't too tight on there. Okay, we're almost done here. And hopefully my idle problems will be resolved with these two changes. So we're gonna find out, I guess, because I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. Okay. Well, that was That was better than I dared hope. So thanks for watching this video, how to change out the idle airflow regulator. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go fire this thing up, shall we? All right, so get you off the mount here. All right, it's a moment of truth. Go ahead and uh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was classic. I didn't hook it up. Okay, so here's all the wire there. And we're just going to push it into there. Are we? Yes. Okay, that would have been classic. Alright, we are all good. Now we can... Shut the hood. And go back in here. Okay. Here's nothing. Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's not right island rough. It's not doing anything. So I'll keep you posted. Um, but it seems to help out. All right, my friends, thanks for watching this video.